So I think it's critical to understand, you know, patient perspective, uh, to understand, you know, how did patients benefit? We, we commonly talk about objective response rate. You know, we talk about, you know, other endpoints such as progression-free survival, overall survival. I think the patient reported outcomes really give us more of a flavor, more of an understanding of the benefit uh, for the therapy to individual uh, patients. So some of the secondary endpoints that we looked at in this study uh, were the time to symptomatic progression and also some of the patient reported outcomes. And we define the time to symptomatic progression as the time from randomization to the onset of new or worsening symptoms that were related to their lung cancer. This was per investigator. And it really required a change in treatment or a clinical intervention or death. And I think these are really important measures uh, to look at to, you know, sort of contextualize the benefit for patients. Um, so, so these are important outcomes. I think they're important outcomes for our patients. When we talk to patient advocacy groups and, and our patients in the clinic, they, they, you know, routinely tell us that these patient reported outcomes do guide and help them decide uh, which therapies they want to utilize in, in their, in their treatment.